Hello everyone and welcome to my home. Today I'll be doing a kitchen nook refresher using neutral colors. I'll also show you something that I found on Marketplace that I added to my kitchen. I love natural colors and I've been looking for a rug that had gray, cream, something of that sort just to brighten up my kitchen nook. Couldn't find it, then I found something, but I was not paying that price. So Marketplace has been my best friend. I'll show you how I cleaned it with a pressure washer versus a shampooer. With that being said, you'll also see things in my kitchen nook where I shop for my home. While shopping for my home, I found things that were in my cabinet, some maybe even in storage, some things that were tucked away and even placed in a bag to be taken to Goodwill. Then I realized that everything does not have to be bought at retail price. Some of the items will also include seasonal items like Easter, whereby I'll transition it into a country look and you would never even know that it was an Easter item. Some of them may be items that I even glued together or even spray painted. So let me get started by showing you some of the items that I'll be using. So what we have here is a cupcake box that I got from Magnolia Farms a couple of years ago. We'll be using that in our decor today. I also have some pillows that I purchased from Kirkland's that were on sale. This right here was the cutest and it fit perfect in my home. This was a Hobby Lobby find. Also from Hobby Lobby during the Christmas sale at 90% off, I found these galvanized buckets, which goes perfect with my country theme. These right here were actually Christmas wreaths and I decided to take the Merry Christmas sign off and use them. Here we have a galvanized tray from Kirkland's on sale as well. And these beaded mugs along with the saucers and the plate and bowls, you would never guess where I found those from. Dollar Tree. That's right, you heard, Dollar Tree. Here, this was part of this year's Easter seasonal item, that Hobby Lobby. And I decided that I would use this in my rustic country kitchen. But guess what, that bunny would have to go. So we'll just cut it off and you would never know it was a seasonal item. Here we have another Kirkland find and so many other things. There's some I can't even remember where I got them from. But just so you'll see and have an idea, this is what my kitchen nook will look like. Oh, let's not forget this. This right here is actually a drop cloth that I brought from Harbor Freight. I was supposed to use it outside on my patio, but I've decided to cover my chair covers, my bar stools, and my bench inside this kitchen nook. Lighting is really nice at nighttime. So these lights here were from Sam's on sale. We'll use those up underneath for the cabinets. So these are the items we'll be using and let's get started. I mentioned to you in my intro that I had an area rug that I found from Marketplace. It was not the nicest when I first purchased it. And as you'll see, you might see a few bleach spots. I guess everything that comes from Marketplace is not gonna look perfect. But once you clean it up a little, it looked just as good as new. Here's the finished product of my kitchen nook refresher. As you can see, I did add a tad bit of yellow in it. Why not add a pop of color? Not a bold yellow, but just something real faint that will go with the neutral colors. Over here, we finished up the coffee bar. And 
there's that area rug. One of my favorite parts of this kitchen. Just made everything much brighter. Two things I did forget to mention. This table was actually a cherry red color. It was a dining room table that my mom had given my husband and I as our first anniversary gift. And I actually chalk painted it with the color buttercream. Had to use a little bit of sandpaper to give it a rustic look. One thing I did not do that I realized I should have was put a stain on it. That will preserve it and keep it from picking up other stains from foods and things like that. I also have this shelf right here. I brought it a yard sale. It was a brown wood look and we gave that a rustic look too and sanded it out. Still haven't finished that bottom piece though. We'll get to it one day. So again, I do thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed my Kitchen Nook Refresher. Stay tuned, because in a couple more months, we'll be adding some more color.